America. Land of the free, home of the brave, inventor of Chinese food. <laughs> America. The greatest country on earth. You hear that, Denmark? You go fuck yourself! <laughs> yeah, I don't care what the World Happiness Index says. Michelle Obama told me that we're number one and her arms make me feel safe. <laughs> Alabama. The South's the South. <laughs> oh, Alabama. Boldly refusing to accept diversity and the inevitable since 1819. <laughs> Alabama. A state whose very flag is the universal sign for no, absolutely not, <laughs> under no circumstances. Texas, the Lone Star State, in that a Lone Star is what most people would give Texas on Yelp. <laughs> Texas, you don't give a gun as a gift to a world leader. You give one to a child in Texas on his 13th birthday. We, know, we all know how it works. DC, the mayor of DC gets to run the city the way a student council president gets to run her high school. Oh. Washington, if you're totally convinced that there should be just 50 states Well then let's all kick out Florida cause no one thinks they're great Oh yes let's all kick out Florida cause no one thinks they're great New Hampshire where live free or die is a legitimately difficult choice Danbury, Connecticut, also known as the Hat City, which is appropriate because much like the bowler hat, Danbury is a superfluous accessory with no practical purpose that went out of style in the 1930s. Now, Kansas. It's a land synonymous with me googling Kansas 20 minutes ago to see if it's synonymous with anything. Uh, turns out mainly wheat and tornadoes that blow away their wheat. Nebraska, a state you think about so little you didn't even realise that's not Nebraska. This is Nebraska. Come on, it's your country. That's not okay. North Carolina, land of tobacco and barbecue, a shortage of nurses. Michigan, the giant hand holding Detroit back from trying to fight Canada. <laughs> South Carolina, home of ancestors that you may not want to look up on Ancestry.com. <laughs> North Dakota, or as you may know it, South to Canada. North Dakota, look, we know. <laughs> Kentucky. Look, no offence, Kentucky, I'm a big fan of your fried chicken. Um, and I proudly watch your derby each year. Mostly to find names for my thrash metal scar fusion band. Uh, we are dance with fate and we are extremely loud. Kentucky deserve everyone's sympathy. Number one, Kentucky has the country's fifth highest percentage of adults below the poverty line. <laughs> Number two, Kentucky is the ninth most obese state in the country. It is a lot. It is a lot. Oh, uh, Kentucky also has the country's fifth highest unemployment rate. <laughs> yes. Plus, more than one in ten adults in Kentucky lack basic literacy skills. Yes, really. And finally, number five, Kentucky has the nation's leading cancer death rate. Yes, it is sad. Something should be done. And that's the point. We get it, Oregon. You people live in a cartoon. Your mountains are breathtaking, your coffee is fair trade, and everywhere you go, you hear the sound of fucking ukuleles. Puerto Rico, whose citizens are Americans, a fact that comes as a surprise to a shocking number of people. Puerto Rico, the island that for decades has been marketed to us as a beautiful vacation spot. This is the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, a land of song and laughter. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk, that delicious Puerto Rican rum. This is really living. It's the revival of an old coconut mask festival at Louisa, just 45 minutes from San Juan. And how'd you like to see this the morning after? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did that 1950s narrator just make a sex joke? Why, if you've got the moxie, you can f every crazy masked stranger on the island. <laughs> Guam. The Pacific Territory that unequivocally sounds the most like a Batman punch. <laughs> In American Samoa. American Samoa. There's a fucking Girl Scout cookie named after it. <laughs> the Confederacy. America's tracksuit sex offender. Now, that's our show.
Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Good night.